Hello, and welcome to Unity Mole APBS, where today we will be investigating rhodium LMRR, an artificial enzyme that was designed to convert CO2 to formate, which is a liquid fuel. Here we have our inorganic rhodium bisdiphosphine complex, which was immobilized via Michael addition between the two oleamide groups on the rhodium complex at two cysteines on the LMRR scaffold. The cysteine residues were introduced via site-directed mutagenesis. At the moment, we are showing the surface as a transparent view. We are also mapping the electrostatic surface potentials, showing red as negative, blue as positive, and white as neutral. We are also showing the electrostatic field lines, where they originate in red and terminate in blue. We designed our artificial enzyme by immobilizing our rhodium bisdiphosphine complex at LMRR, which is not natively a metal binding protein. Singling out the rhodium bisdiphosphine complex, we can clearly see the maleamide groups that were used to mobilize this complex within the protein scaffold at the two cysteine residues. LMRR is a very advantageous scaffold to use as it is a homodimer, which means that it is two single units that self-assemble. During the self-assembly, it forms a pocket at the interface between the two monomers. As you can see for the APO LMRR system, we are showing the surface as a solid representation, whereas for our inorganic rhodium complex and the artificial enzyme, we are showing a transparent surface. This is done to more clearly show where the rhodium complex is immobilized at within the protein scaffold, and also to show the rhodium complex within the surface. We can now represent our enzyme as a solid surface. After we do that, we can now compare the electrostatic surface potentials of our artificial enzyme to the native LMRR system. Comparing the surface of the rhodium complex immobilized within the artificial enzyme to the surface of the rhodium complex outside of the artificial enzyme, we can see that there is more of a blue or positive component to the rhodium complex outside of the protein scaffold compared to a more red or negative surface of the complex once it's immobilized within the protein scaffold. Let's go back and set the enzyme surface back to transparent. As you can see, using a virtual world, it is very easy to manipulate multiple three-dimensional objects simultaneously. And we can even move everything at once, assuming we have found an orientation that we desire. And we do not want to lose that orientation Let's zoom in real quick and talk about how using this virtual world allows an increased rate of using the APBS tools, such as multivalue, which calculates the potential at multiple atoms. To use the multivalue tool in this virtual world, we need to change our selection mode to atom and create a new selection, followed by literally just reaching out and grabbing the atoms to send them to our new selection. And here we will select the rhodium atom and the four phosphorus atoms. We can easily see which atoms are selected via this yellow halo. Now that we have the atoms selected that we are going to investigate, we simply just have to click the multivalue button. If the APBS tools are in a different directory, we can use the buttons on the menu to select the location of the multivalue executable. The Unity Mole APBS software will automatically create the input files necessary for multivalue, so users do not have to sift through coordinate files to find specific atoms. Multivalue will automatically set these up and write them to a file for the users. 
since our goal is to compare the potential at the rhodium and phosphorus atoms for the complex outside of the protein to the complex inside the protein, we now need to complete this process for the rhodium complex inside the artificial enzyme. Ensuring that the new selection is highlighted, we then simply click the multi-value button to have the potentials written to a text file in the output folder of the APBS directory. In summary, this has been a quick example of how to manipulate multiple three-dimensional objects in a virtual world to compare the electrostatic properties of an artificial enzyme to an inorganic rhodium bisdiphosphine complex. Thank you for watching.